Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the 38th video in the series and today we will go over sets in Python. We will first go over what a set is and then we will compare sets using union and intersection. So let's get started. I created a file called sets.py and I'm gonna create a variable called set1 and set that equal to an empty set. Then I'm gonna add to that set by doing set1.add and I can add different things such as numbers, boolean statements, and words all on the same set. One thing that's different about sets is that they only store a number once. So if I add it twice, it will only store 42 once. Now when I print this set, you'll see that 42 is only stored once. And you may notice it's not in the order that you add them. As you see, it does booleans first, then it does numbers, then it's followed by strings. And you'll see this later. I can also print the length of set1 by doing print len set1. And when I run this, I will get 3, since there's true 42 in Python. I can also remove something from the set. So I'll do set1.remove. And let's say I want to remove the number 54. Well, 54 is not in there. So when I run this, it will give an error. However, if I wanted to make sure if it was removed, but didn't want to create an error, I could do set1.discard. Now when I run this, it will work and not output an error. I can also remove or discard the number 42. And now when I print this, you will see that 42 has been removed. And that's how sets work in Python. Now let's work with pre-populated sets. I created a file called pre-populated sets. And I created a variable called set2. And set this equal to a set that stores true, for hello, and true. And these brackets are needed if we're using set. I can print set2 and it should work just like before and it will output true, two, four, and hello. If I wanted to remove everything from a set, I could do set two dot clear. Now when I print set two, it will output an empty set. Now that we know how pre-populated sets work, let's compare sets with one another. To see what numbers are in odd or even, I can do print odd dot union and then even and this will print all the odd and even numbers so it should print every single number from 1 to 10 and it does so dot union is or and you'll see here that it is not an exclusive or i just did odd dot union odd it would print every single odd number and there it does one three five seven nine i can also see what odd numbers are prime so i'll do odd dot intersection prime and when I run this, we'll see that 3, 5, and 7 are the odd prime numbers between 1 and 10. I could also see what numbers are odd and even between 1 and 10, and this should just output an empty set. And I run this, and it does empty set there. I could also check to see if a number is prime by doing 2 in prime and doing 6 in prime. And when I run this, we see that 2 is a prime number and 6 is not. I can also check to see if a number is not prime by doing 6 not in prime. And when I run this, this will output true. Now that we know how union and intersection works with sets, we can now do some more things with sets. I created a file called more ways to use sets.py and I copied odd even in prime from the previous file. Instead of doing set every single time, we can just do an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket. And this will output the same thing. And when I print odd, it will output the same thing as before, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. I could also see what numbers are odd and prime by doing odd, then the and sign, then prime. And this will output the same as before. I can also see what numbers are odd or prime by doing odd, then the or sign then prime and this will output one two three five seven and nine if i wanted to make this an exclusive or i could do this by doing the caret symbol now when i run this this will just output numbers that are odd or prime and not both which are one two and nine 
if I wanted to see the odd numbers that aren't prime, I'll do odd, then dash, then the prime, and I run this, and this will just output 1 and 9. And that's an overview of how to use sets in Python. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell, or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.